What's up guys? I've got two packages here. Let's grab a knife or do we grab Bob? Let's grab Bob. Got it right over here to the side. So let's see, I got a package from, I was gonna say a Samuel from package. Uh, a package from Samuel at 2EDC that, whoops, I'm pretty sure has some buttons in it for Mrs. Hobson. I gotta do a button mod for her. Can I, hang on, bear with me. You know, one of these foldy kind of boxes that have all the mysterious bits and a big address right, right across the front. Let me just cut all these tape lines. Yeah, this is the package for Samuel. And I guess you see the thumbnail already. That's why you clicked, right? <laughs> Coracle L. And OG SS Nectar. That's right, you got distracted there. You've already seen the thumbnail. That's a spin and click, but let's get this open real quick. This will be more of a first impressions and... Okay, there's a button. There's a spinner. These must be Janet's buttons right here. Let's see. Stickers, save that for Janet. I've got, uh, it's either like stainless and copper up there or tungsten copper, I don't know. And these are titanium, it feels like. Cool. So I've got some modding and dishing to do on those three buttons. Let's get this out. Oh yeah, this nectar has the, um, it's like, yeah, the deeper dish buttons. Here we go. I'm excited to try these for sure. They're in Ultim, but much deeper dish. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have my cable, can you see? Can't quite get it in frame. I have my phone charging. It was kind of low. I just slung the cable on that spin right there. My bad. <laughs> so this is the standard size Nectar. I had the Nectar Plus and stainless steel and made a good trade with Ryan for my Mega Pillar. Okay, this is kind of crazy, but I like this as a smaller spinner, I think. Let me put some metal buttons on it real quick, just to appease my curiosities. Am I biased because the Ultim gives good sound and feedback with this go fast style bearing and stainless body? Or is it really just that I like this Nectar more? Let's see. This is great. I do like this more than the Plus, I think. Oh, almost did it again. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna unplug my phone. It's not gonna die. There we go. All right, get this, get this cord out of here. <laughs> Very balanced. Carries a lot of speed. That was a terrible spin. That's really good, really good, okay. Clearly I'm a spinner guy because I haven't even gotten to my spin and click or my, or the coracle over here. That's really good with the Ultim. Huh. All right, good job, Samuel. Thank you for sending that to check out. I got to send it back. Oh, I got a week with it. It's Monday. We talked about that. Do all my shipping on those Mondays. So let's see, I'm gonna tidy up a little bit. I'm gonna leave it with the Ultim buttons on it while it's in my possession. And I'm gonna stay organized here. Put the pouch and the COA to the side. Probably gonna use that for a thumbnail later. Okay, let's do coracle action. This is something I have never handled. Let's 
So we got two magnets, short little slide. If you got a light touch, you get some feedback. A little bit of sound. It's pretty cool. You know, it's super simple. It's like a functional worry stone kind of thing. Makes a cool sound. I like the, what is this? It's like a machine plastic. You can hear it whenever it slides over it. It's got a neat sound to it. Good feel, good finish, great stone washing. Lanyard's pretty cool. I would make one maybe a little bit longer. This is a fidget. No skill required. You know what I mean? And I've had like a, let's see, a Compaform Triquatra that had a simple slider on the top that didn't do anything for me. I've never played with the Magnus thing that's like this or any of the other like Compaform kind of stuff that has a free floating little slider boobob thingy on it. But I have to say, this seems like it's just so well executed. Like, I actually, I, I, I like it quite a lot. A decent amount of, like, haptics and the distance of the slide and engagement is good. If it was me personally, I guess, I wouldn't mind if the magnets were maybe a little stiffer. You know, that's just me. I've got freakish taste for that kind of thing. I like it to be a little stiffer than usual. So yeah, here comes my nephew. Let's open the spin and click. I've already got the spinner and the coracle. Try not to flash the address on this one too. All right, so I haven't ever ordered from Derek before. Got a little like 3D printed skull dude. I like that it's green. Got to show addresses. I sure did, awesome. I get to blur those out later. All right, I'm gonna read this first. Spin tablet free to slow the release effects, for instant relief, rotate and snap half to center, satisfying click, neat. They expire next year. <laughs> Why can't I, there we go. Definitely a little smaller than I thought. Balance is good. Bearing might be dirty. All right, how's this thing come apart? Just like that, cool. It's only held together with magnets on the buttons and the body piece. Huge 608 bearing. I think I'm gonna clean it real quick. Just the bearing. One second. Hair dryer. Bearing carries a lot of speed. More mass than an R188 for sure. It's interesting that the, the button is smaller than the bearing, but of course that's just how it, how it works. So it's got a really nice etch on it. Really cool colors, especially for electro anodizing. There's like multi-tones going on. I would think it would be more all one green. Very, very pretty. I was thinking I would make some buttons for it, but I don't know if I need to. It doesn't weigh enough to really need any extra grip. And they're so thin in the first place. The button itself, like, It'd have to be a good bit 
thicker and it would really change it aesthetically. Might not be worth doing buttons. Spins plenty long enough for what it is. I mean, it's perfectly balanced. I've looked at these since he released them, like, it's been a while, like a couple months now that I think that he's been doing multiple materials, several other exotics. But I just hadn't pulled the trigger on any of them yet because I didn't, I wasn't quite sure. Like I really wanted to try tungsten, but I didn't want to quite pay the price that it was going for. Not saying it's not worth it, but I just wasn't sure if I would like it. And I didn't want to fool with trying to resell if I didn't. But this one was like 110 and that seemed cheap enough to give it a shot. And I'm glad I did. It's a pretty cool fit it. can be a little cumbersome to do the rotations and the clicks. You can tell the crystallized titanium. Is it sliding on itself? I think so. You can tell it's sliding on itself. So we'll see how that looks in time. Here, it could be sliding on the bearing surface. But either way, we've got an etched surface as a as a bearing surface somewhere between these rotating parts. So you can just feel that edge a little bit. It'll probably gets smoother as I use it. You know, I'm not really big on magnetic haptic coins, but this, I mean, this isn't that, but it's kind of fills that gap a little bit of not having one in my collection. I really like the feedback of this bearing. I mean, I know it's a full ceramic, but I wasn't sure. I've never really spun anything with this kind of bearing in it. Definitely doesn't spin super long, but it's very fast when you get it going. I'll let that one come to a stop. Well, it spins a little longer than I thought it would. Got a little bit of an imbalance on this particular side or position. Makes sense that that could change. I know the magnets aren't gonna be perfect, magnet to magnet. Sweet. Well, that's the fidget things I spin and click. Yup. Oh, it's 34 grams. I didn't pull out the scale, but it says it right there. What else did I miss? Nothing. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.